We're good. Yeah. Everyone set? Yeah. Yeah. All right, sir, over to you. Everyone's good? Good yeah. to go? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yesterday afternoon, a landowner on a property at Wild Horse Plains was uh, carrying out some earth moving with a front end loader when he uh, inadvertently uncovered skeletal human remains by the side of a road. He immediately contacted uh, police. Local police and major crime detectives and crime scene examiners have subsequently uh, attended the, uh, the site. We've confirmed that the body was buried in a shallow grave and we're treating the matter as a murder. This investigation has been declared a major crime. Yesterday and today, a forensic anthropologist uh, attended at the scene. Um, she's conducted a preliminary, preliminary examination of the remains, but at this stage, we, we can't confirm the age, identity, ethnicity, or um, sex of the remains, um, but we can confirm that they're not old Aboriginal. Uh, remains. Police and forensic experts are still out of the, uh, the crime scene, conducting a uh, painstaking examination in an effort to uncover what exactly has happened out there. It's not clear how long the body's been there, but we believe it's been there for several years at least. The cause of death has not yet been determined. And it's anticipated that a post-mortem examination will be carried out on Tuesday and after that we'll be in a position to release further details uh, to the public. We're still conducting uh, detailed searches of the scene out there and the surrounding uh, area uh, with the uh, assistance of SES personnel. As part of our initial investigation we're reviewing missing persons files and also previous murder files uh, where bodies have not been located in an effort to uh, identify the, the remains that are out there. In addition, we'll be uh, checking dental records of known missing persons, and, and it's also likely that we'll be using DNA technology in an effort to identify the remains that we found. As I said, it's an early stage of the investigation, and we would urge anyone who has information about the body to uh, contact police via Crime Stoppers. Um, I understand there's several items of interest that have been found at the scene. What are they? Um, SES conducted searches this morning under our uh, uh, direction and located a few miscellaneous items. I really can't outline what they are at this stage and we're not sure if they're linked to whatever has happened out there. As you, as you can appreciate, it's, it's a big area um, and we don't actually know what's happened or if those items are relevant. So I'm not in a position to release that information at the moment. How big a pool of people are we talking about when we talk about missing people, murder investigations that it could be? I guess there's not that many that to narrow it down to? No, there's not, not a lot, but there have been a number of murder investigations um, where bodies have not been recovered. Some matters have been, even been through the courts. So we'll be checking dental records and, as I said, DNA, um, using DNA technology in an effort to identify this body as quickly as we can. And hopefully after the post-mortem on Tuesday we'll be in a position to to release more details, including the ethnicity of the of the person and also the, the sex, obviously, and, and descriptions such as height, etc. Given the time that's passed, obviously, since the bones were done there, how hard does that make a police investigation now? It does make it more difficult when uh, it's some time before we uncover the crime scene, but quite often there's uh, forensic evidence uh, of value that can uh, be of great assistance to us. Was there any uh, clothing found with the body? And if so, can you describe what it was? The body was clothed. Uh, I don't want to release any details of that at the moment. Um, we're uh, very mindful of uh, the, the families of people that are missing at the moment, the reported missing, so I don't want to unduly, unstress, uh, unduly stress anyone at the moment. But we will we'll release further details of that clothing probably next week. If the postmortem has been carried out on Tuesday, when do you hope to have a clear identity of, or a clear indication of the identity of the Well, we're working towards that at the moment by reviewing the files that we have on hand, uh, physical descriptions, and trying to match clothing that people might have last been seen in. It's a painstaking process, and hopefully during that process and with the information we can get from a post-mortem examination and the information from the forensic anthropologist, we can piece it all together and work out who it is. Is this likely to happening. take weeks or months or...? It's really hard to say. We could identify some, this person this afternoon, or it, uh, it may come about as a result of dental records, or we might get some information out of the post-mortem which can help us with that process.
Is there any indication yet, or is it too early to tell, of whether um, the body was dumped there already dead, or if there was some kind of murder at that location or in that area? No, we really can't piece that together. There was some damage to the scene, as you can probably imagine, but with the front end loader, um, which was moving large quantities of dirt at the time when the body was uncovered. So we're, we're piecing it all together with our forensic experts to try and work out exactly what's happened. In terms of the, the, the time frame when the body was dumped, um, you don't believe it's um, Aboriginal remains, so it's not very very old. So you're thinking more in the sort of five to, to 20 year period somewhere in there, or, or is it just hard to say? It's really hard to say, but the, the information I've got from our experts at the moment is that it's probably less than five years. Does it appear that it was in a, you know, it was actually buried, it wasn't just sort of, you know... Yeah, it, it was buried in a, in a shallow grave. Given such a remote location, there's not a lot around out there, is there any public help, and given the time that elapsed, there's probably not a lot that the public can do? Well, thing? it may well be that someone remembers seeing someone out in that area acting suspiciously over the last few years. It may well be that someone out there has heard uh, rumours about someone... Uh, coming to, uh, to grief and being buried out in that area. So we'll be interested in speaking to anyone who has information relating to those sorts of things. There's probably not much else yep, I can no, say. No,